Okay, you guys, this should be recording chapter six, section five. Um, unfortunately, I have a meeting this morning, so I won't be here for a little while, but I thought, well, I'll see if I can record this lesson ahead of time. Anyway, so uh, what is this section all about? This is all about dividing um, by a decimal. And, and I say, uh, you know, dividing by a decimal, but actually the way you set it up is that you don't divide by a, a decimal. And so this first example here, they're talking about um, um, dividing. If you look at it, uh, it's it's $3.60, and we're dividing it by $1.20, okay? Um, when you divide by a decimal, one of the first things you want to do um, is get rid of the decimal. So you look at the number on the outside, and you see where the decimal is, and you want to move the decimal to the right. And how many places do we have to move that decimal to get rid of it? Um, and so if you look at this here, uh, you're going to have to move it one, two places. And, and so that would become 120. Okay. Well, whatever you do on the outside, you need to do on the inside. So we're going to move this two places. And so the decimal would be right there, and that would become 360. So the new division problem is 120 into 360. That's one way to look at it. Um, and, and so a lot of you will recognize, well, I see some compatible numbers here. We could actually get rid of the zero uh, on each one. So now we have 36 being divided by 12, and you guys know the answer to that would be 3. All right. And the decimal would go straight up. If it was 12 into 36, you can go ahead and look at it like 120 into 360. Where's the decimal? It's going to be right there. Remember, the decimals go straight up. And so how many times would 120 go into 360? It would be 3. So either way, the answer is 3. The decimal is going to be just to the right of the whole number. All right. Um, so remember that you just want to get rid of the decimal and, and you need to move it on, on whatever you, how many times you move it on the outside, um, you're going to move it that many on the inside. So I could have a number, let's say XXX, okay, into ZZZ here, okay. Let's say I have the decimal right here and in this one it's right here. Well again, how many places am I going to move moving the, the decimal? Uh, on the outside, I'm going to move it two places, so that means I'm going to move it two places here, so the decimal would go straight up. So really, that's that's what this is all about. Okay, it's not uh, not rocket science. This is something you guys can do and you can easily do because hopefully all of you have a pretty good grasp of of division because that's what we've been doing for for a week or so, um, and it's nothing new that you guys haven't done before. Um, let's see here. Um, I think you can answer the convince me. I want you to think about it. You can go ahead and set those up. And um, it says, is 3.6 divided by 1.2 equal to less than or greater than 36 divided by 12? So uh, look at those and think about them. Okay. All right. Um, let me see here. Um, how is... Uh, Let's see, how is dividing by a decimal like dividing by a whole number? Um, well, you're, you're trying to figure out, um, let's see here, how many times um, how many times does the, how many times the divisor Oops, the divisor um, divides into the dividend, which is what's being divided. I don't have much room there. <laughs> they don't give you much room to write. All right, number two, it says, how can you use multiplication to find 
2.8 divided by 0.7. Okay, well, let's look at this here. 2.8 and being divided by 0.7. So what have I taught you? You get rid of the decimal. How many places do we have to move the decimal on the outside? One place. So that means we're going to move it one place in here. So now what do we have? We have 7 being, in, being divided into the dividend, which is 28. How many times does 7 go into 28? Uh, it's 4. And so if you knew your multiplication, okay, um, you would recognize right away that um, 7 times 4 is, is 28. And I've pointed this out to you guys before. Remember that if you multiply the dividend and the divisor together, um, or I'm sorry, if you multiply um, the quotient and uh, the divisor together, uh, you get the dividend. You get what's on the inside. All right. So let's look at uh, let's look at number three here. Um, we've got two divided by 0 0.5. I'm going to set this up for you here. Two divided by 0 0.5. What's the first thing you need to do? Well, get rid of the decimal. Now, first off, where's the decimal in the in the two right here? Well, you know the decimal is right behind every whole number. The decimal is going to go straight up. So I'm going to put the decimal right there. All right. So uh, I need to get rid of the decimal. Um, and so I'm going to move it over one time. And so that means I need to move this decimal over one time. And so I have to add a zero. So now this becomes 5 going into 20. I'm going to put the decimal right there. And how many times does 5 go into 20? It goes in four times. And so there's your answer. And so this answer is exactly the same as 0.5 into 2. It goes in four times. What's another way of, of looking at 0.5? If I was to put that in fraction form, what is 0.5? Well, 0.5 is the same thing as a half. Well, does that make sense? Does this answer right here make sense? Well, think about it. If it goes in four times, um, what's one half plus one half plus one half plus one half equal? Well, two halves put together equal one, and so the answer would be two. All right. Um, so you guys can do uh, work on those. Let's see here. You could do three. Actually, I already gave you the answer to three here, and the answer was. Um, was 4 equals 4. Um, so let's look at number 13. Okay, so number 13 is 0 0.05 going into 1.05. Okay, what is, what's the first thing we need to do? We need to get rid of the decimal. So move it over two places. So now this becomes 5 into, and we got to move this over two places, 5 into 105. Does 5 go into 1? It, and remember, the decimal's right here, so it's going to go straight up. Does 5 go into 1? It does not. Does 5 go into 10? Yeah, it does. It goes in twice. That's going to be 10. We subtract it. There's nothing left over. Now what do we do? We bring down the 5. How many times does 5 go into 5? It goes in once, okay? And there's nothing left over. So what's the answer? Okay, the answer is 21. So number 13, the answer is 21. So um, 5 goes into 105 21 times. Point zero 0.05 goes into 1.05 also. 21 times. So it's just a matter of moving the decimals so you can manipulate and go ahead and solve solve these problems. All right. Um, let me see here. I scratched out number 19. I'm not worried about that. I don't want to grade uh, 27 different answers to 19. 
Looking at number 20, it says Carol bought five pork chops and three steaks. Each pork chop weighed uh, 0.32 uh, pounds, and each steak weighed 0.8 pounds. How many pounds of meat did Carol buy in all? Well, you should be able to figure that out. You're going to multiply uh, <coughs> the weight of the pork chops by how much each one weighed and how many there are, and the same thing with the steaks, and you're going to add them up. Number 21, Tim estimates that 60 divided by uh, 5.7 is about 10. Makes sense, because we could round 5.7 to 6. 6 goes into 60 10 times. Will the actual quotient, that's the answer, be greater or less than 10? It will be greater. It will be greater, um, uh, greater than 10 because because uh, 5.7 is less than 6. Okay. Um, Dex estimates that 4,989 divided by 0 .8, 0 0.89 is about 500. Is his estimate reasonable? Uh, the answer would be uh, no, it would not. Um, let's see here. They're not really compatible numbers. Um, it should be close to 5,000 not 500. Um, let me see here. I want to end this pretty quick so you guys have some time to work on this while I'm in my meeting. Susan solves 1.4 divided by 0.2 using the diagram at the right. Is, is her reasoning correct? Um, the answer is yes, and I'll let you guys explain that. Um, let me see here. I'm going to scratch out number 24 and then give me three examples of the power of 10. So you could use exponents if you want. Okay. Um, and then you can do 26 and 27 on your own. Okay, so that's it, you guys. So listen, just remember you got get, get rid of the decimal on the outside of the division problem and it just turns into two one whole number into another and just remember where the decimal goes so um, you guys jump into this and uh, we'll be checking this tomorrow that's it